I have a hunch that today just might be the day where it will be cloudy with a chance of meatballs. This weather mostly clear skies as we're looking out across the Atlantic Ocean right now. Dang it! <laughs> going on Zill the Grub God back with another episode episode 4 to be exact of Zill the Grub God I'd like to start off with the full disclosure never allow a weatherman to dictate what you want to cook even if it is not cloudy outside you can't have your meatballs ladies and gentlemen speaking of meatballs yes you've guessed it right that is today's recipe today I'm going to share with you peasants my Greek turkey meatball recipe now I know what you're probably thinking. I could go to Food Line, Walmart, Harris Teeter, Kroger, wherever, and purchase meatballs. Now, answer this truthfully. Are those adult meatballs or meatballs that you would supply at your five-year-old's birthday party? I know, I know, I know the answer. But the meatballs are good, but they're not great. And that's why I'm here to help you. The good thing about meatballs are they are versatile. They go great with spaghetti, pasta, rice, casseroles, and hoagies and subs, which I'm a big fan of, a very big fan of. While most meatballs are made with beef, these are made with turkey. The great thing about these meatballs are they are a healthier alternative uh, opposed to your traditional meatballs. So if you're an athlete just trying to keep a balanced diet or either you're just uh, average Joe trying to get in good shape or you're just someone who just wants really good food, I highly recommend these meatballs. I've been chit-chatting long enough. The weathermen are wrong. Meatballs are great. Follow me to the kitchen. Let's get started. Oh. And before we get started, you make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we're gonna start with one pound of ground beef, one large egg. This is completely optional. I prefer to go ahead and beat the turkey and egg together. A half cup of spinach. Next, a half cup of red onion. And next, we're gonna throw in a third cup of breadcrumbs and a fourth cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Next, a half a teaspoon of minced garlic, followed by a full teaspoon of oregano. Next, we're just gonna add a little generous amount of black peppercorn to the mix. Lastly, you wanna add a half a cup of cheese. I use mozzarella, but feta works great too. And once you have all of your ingredients in a bowl, go ahead, grab a spoon, grab a spatula, or use your hands, whichever. You want all of your ingredients evenly dispersed in order to make the meatballs very juicy and tender. We're gonna go ahead and set our oven to 350 degrees. Now for this recipe, you will need a pan. I like to go ahead and line mine with aluminum foil. Now, before rolling up my meatballs, I actually like to wet my hands first with water. This allows the meatball to not stick to my hand and also to get a nice full roll. I prefer my meatballs to be large, so I usually get about 12, but if you happen to do uh, your meatballs about normal size, you'll possibly get about 18. Next, we're gonna go ahead and insert our tray of meatballs into our oven for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, the cheese should be melted, the meatballs should be brown, and they should be ready to eat. After about 20 minutes, our meatballs are ready. Note, the bigger your meatballs, the longer you're going to have to cook them.
And what would Greek turkey meatballs be without some tzatziki sauce? Here we have a combination of plain Greek yogurt, some parsley. Usually you would use dill wheat, but I am out of dill wheat, so we use parsley as an alternative. A dash of salt, some minced garlic, and last, some lemon. Once you finish adding your lemon, you wanna just take a spoon and beat it all together. Now with the meal I'm preparing, I like to have rice with my meatballs and tzatziki sauce. This is a very great combination here. So we're just gonna take our rice, we're gonna make a bed of it, surround it with our meatballs, and to top it off, we're going to add some tzatziki sauce. Helping peasants out one recipe at a time, baby. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and also, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow my social media accounts at HarveyDent93, as well as Zill the Grub God. That's it for this episode. Remember, do not always trust your local weatherman. On that note, I will see you peasants next time. Much love.